together with Audrey Pentecost. Hi, I'm meteorologist Audrey Pentecost, and currently we're tracking this thunderstorm right now. We're tracking some thunderstorms that are moving across the area right now. They're mostly towards the central UP and moving into the eastern UP. We can zoom in right now. We are under a, a severe thunderstorm warning, and this is issued by the National Weather Service, and that is right here, and that's uh, mostly towards, and we can actually put up the information for that warning. This is in uh, Delta, Dickinson, Marquette, and Menominee County, kind of where those, uh, those counties border, and that this this storm is currently close to Hendrix right now. Uh, so or if you are in that area and also to the uh, to the south or the uh, west southwest of Hendrix as well. We're also seeing some pretty heavy rain and also some hail is possible as well as some uh, heavy wind gusts. And again, that could continue throughout the rest of the next few hours. We have been tracking this storm uh, over the last maybe 20 minutes, I think. So it has been moving uh, for quite some time. We're gonna continue to track that. We can go ahead and put that into motion. You can see it just moving over the last few uh, hours, just into the UP and towards the central UP right now. So again, we're gonna track the rest of these uh, thunderstorms and rain showers that are moving through the area. And those uh, that severe threat is starting to diminish and it's gonna to continue to diminish throughout the rest of tonight. I'll move out of the area. This is actually the hail that was associated with that thunderstorm that is warned right now in Iron Mountain. It was in Iron Mountain in Quinnesec earlier. And this was taken by John Fuse and again in Iron Mountain, sent to our 906 Weather Watchers Facebook page. And this is some hail that was actually happened earlier in the day. This was taken in Bessemer by Lori and sent to our 906 Weather Watchers page. There actually was a two inch hail in that area. Um, again, earlier today, this was not recent, but again, earlier today around uh, maybe I think five to six o'clock. So again, we did see some hail associated with these thunderstorms. And this picture was taken by uh, Missy in Ironwood and we did see those uh, some pretty big hail as well as some, some thunderstorms moving through Ironwood, but it looks like it's nice out there now. For your three things to know, we're gonna continue to see those rain showers and thunderstorms as well as some severe weather, but that's starting to diminish throughout tonight and some well above average temperatures taking a look at our future weather. Those rain showers and thunderstorms are going to move right out of the area towards the east, and then we're going to see a nice dry day for your Sunday until Sunday night into Monday. That's whenever we're going to see our next chance for rain, and even some thunderstorms are possible. Taking a look at our extended forecast tonight in the Keweenaw Peninsula, we are going to see temperatures drop down to around the 50s highs for tomorrow, mostly in the 70s. Temperatures return to closer to normal with some uh, rain shower chances on and off throughout the rest of your week. In the areas closer to Michigan, Wisconsin border tonight, temperatures will drop down to around 50 degrees in this region. Highs for tomorrow, mostly in the 70s. It can be a little bit warmer for your Sunday with those nice dry conditions. And then temperatures return to closer to average throughout the rest of your week with a chance for rain showers to move in and out of the area. And then closer to Lake Michigan tonight, temperatures will drop down into the lower 50s. Highs for tomorrow around the 70s, a little bit cooler closer to Lake Michigan. Temperatures return to closer to average with a chance for rain showers throughout the rest of your week. In those areas in the eastern UP tonight, you still do have a chance to see some thunderstorms, but again, it shouldn't be too severe as it moves through this area. Highs for tonight or lows for tonight around the 50s. Highs for tomorrow, mostly in the 70s in this region. 69 for your Monday with rain showers moving through and those temperatures will return to closer to average. In Alger County tonight, temperatures will drop down into the 50s. Highs for tomorrow, mostly in the 70s, a little bit cooler, closer to Lake Superior. Temperatures return to closer to average throughout the rest of your week with some rain chances as well. In those areas away from the Lakeshore and Marquette County, temperatures drop down to around 50 degrees. Highs for tomorrow in the 70s. 61 for your Monday, temperatures return to average closer or throughout the rest of your week. In those areas in the upper terrain tonight, temperatures drop down to around 50 degrees. Highs for tomorrow in the 70s, temperatures return to closer to average with a chance for rain showers uh, moving in and out of the area throughout the rest of your week. And closer to the lake shores tonight, temperatures drop down into the 50s. Highs for tomorrow around the lower 70s, temperatures return to closer to average throughout the rest of your week.